As an architect, we come in and build spaces. Initially, they are empty spaces. And it's when the children and the mothers move in that the soul of the design starts to live. One of the most amazing experiences was going into the home and seeing, you know, the family, seeing the mother with the children. Oh, wow. I had never been to an orphanage before, and I definitely did have the idea that it would be um, a heartbreakingly sad and desperate place, and that's not at all what this has been like. And this one's yours? <laughs> this one's yours? Mm, very clean. Suspiciously clean. <laughs> you didn't clean them right before. Today, you didn't. <laughs> hmm. Are you sure children have been living here? <laughs> That's a very neat. They have been cleaned up their space because we're visiting today. I honestly am. These mothers, they are taking care of six to ten kids, and not just taking care of them in the way that you would imagine someone who worked in an orphanage would, but they actually become their mothers. And I can't imagine anything more open-hearted and generous. At mother school, we train her how to provide quality care, how to be a, a good mother to her children. And we may give her a lot of skills which enables her to bring up children in a better manner. She is asking, how do you uh, like my house? I love it. I really love it. <laughs> we have to prepare the kids for their future. So the mothers like the kids to get all the additional things, you know, music, painting, sports. We have a kindergarten here where neighborhood kids also come in. And very importantly, we have a lot of stress on education so that they can become self-supporting when they grow up. We only can hope that Aliburg succeeds to help these kids uh, to do the examination school, find a very good job, and become independent from any other support in the future. I think this is the best thing which could happen for this village. The community is very interested in this children's village and incorporating it into the rest of society. So they want to be a part of it. Tomorrow we're going to go visit the, the, uh, the town that it's a part of and the school. I'm very excited about that. a lot into the community. We are trying to do our bit for families so that they have certain means to retain their child and not abandon the child. It's fantastic if we could help to keep them together because the children have a home, a home with their real parents. We have supported this village and all of a sudden we see another community getting also support from us and we are really very happy about this. <laughs> आमचे गावाचे मीटिंग पण घेतात आहे लोक सर लोक आणि आमच्यासाठी मदत पण जाम लोकांनी केलेली आहे the idea is that if they support the, the women and the children and educate them in the villages outside of the SOS Children's Village, then there'll be fewer um, children given up or orphaned who need that kind of total care. When girls go to school, they end up then going further in school and it opens up a whole, you know, a whole nother world to them. <laughs> I think you need people that are familiar with the area to be able to tell you exactly what is needed and what is most essential. And that's, I think, what's 
pretty great about what SOS is doing is they are training somebody who is then the link between them and the village. We're just seeing the, the way that they lived and also passing out these uh, water filters. Which I think will make a huge difference. I mean, I think that's pretty massive. And we were playing with babies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Things I think it's these simple things like water filters mixed with more long-term things, you know, which um, which actually will make a difference. I think the hope is that um, you know, Spree leading the way and doing this and really uh, supporting an entire children's village, setting one up, just like boom. The idea is another big corporation will do the same. So is this your school? Yes. These are all the children from the Olabug SOS Children's Village who go to this school. the kids from SOS Village kind of led me around by the hand all day. I think this was like a, they were special today in school, you know, <laughs> it was like their special day. She, she really wants to take me to her class. Oh, wow, very good English. To draw? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, an art class. Yeah. I am a friend of the program. I am a Well, you know, these children are hopefully going to grow up to be adults that are able to raise children of their own in a way that um, isn't like the experience that they went through, you know, early on. Everyone involved seems to really believe in what they're doing. You know, there's a real sense that this is different, and the way that everyone participates is, is kind of ideal. So as Children's Village is a place where they can have their feelings, where they feel safe enough to have them, where they feel loved enough to have them, because no matter what, no matter what you're given, if you've been through the things that these kids have been through, you're going to need to have that. And, um, you know, I think anyone who's human can relate to that. After this experience and such a young company like Esprit, uh, I think we should continue giving support to Aliburg or wherever because we have a care trust in our company and of course we will dedicate certain uh, funds uh, to such projects, whether it's Aliburg or it's anything else, but I think it's very good for Esprit to do this because you cannot just take from the society and make money, but you should also give to the society and I think this is our mission. So we will continue to follow these children and their development. I intend to come back to see their personal development and to also show that with all our employees to see how the village is developing. Really, it's been so mind-blowing in so many ways. I think I'll need some time to digest it. I feel um, like it's so different from anywhere I've ever been in so many ways that I, I need a minute to, yeah, to, to swallow it and, and take it in. Right now I just feel like, um, like every pore in my body is open.